What's up everyone, Kevin Oak here. So, as I think I said in previous videos, I've been having some shoulder dysfunction on the right side. So, um, went to see David Joe, as you guys have seen in previous videos, so we can go over it. Um, the week prior we did mostly hip stuff because I didn't realize how bad my shoulder was. But after this week's workout, I realized my shoulder is not doing the best. So went to see him. Um, as he kind of went over his assessment of what's going on, just with how my shoulder's moving, basically the issue and why it kind of, um, cause obviously I said before my front pec seems strained as well as my rear lat and the subscap. So the issue isn't actually in my chest. The issue is with my shoulder basically. And what's going on since my right shoulder is the overhand on deadlift, there's a tendency for us with the overhand to get kind of pinned forward. So when that happens, it puts a tremendous strain on your pec as well as your lat. So what's going on when I bench and my shoulder's trying to move back, it doesn't have that range of motion that it's supposed to. So it's putting extra stress on my chest because it's super tight basically. So that's mainly what the cause of the pec strain was. It's not really an issue with the pec. The issue is going on in my lat and my subscap and kind of my rear delt putting too much strain on my pec. So it ended up kind of making my pec strain. So we were doing a bunch of exercises just to kind of work on the mobility of my shoulders, my lats, um, getting them, you know, full, ma mainly trying to get to end range in the joint and get that full range of motion. That's what we worked on primarily after you did some manual work on them. Um, felt good i felt like it opened me up it did kind of take some pressure off of the joint so overall i thought it was good and this right here sucked when he did it he made it look really easy but for me it was not <laughs> but what this is doing is kind of getting your shoulders and the rear mostly to end range which is really difficult for me because like i said i am so pinned forward so doing anything where you're moving back is extremely difficult for me mobility wise but work through it like I said felt better so um came in the next day on the Friday to get a bench press workout in I wasn't sure how my pec was gonna feel so I decided to do mostly lighter weight I only worked I only warmed up to um well, I should say here we were just messing around and I was showing him my skills and that I can crack backs as well he was very pleased with it because obviously I'm fucking amazing <laughs> but um I cracked his back for him, which he always does for me. Um, but getting into the bench press workout, I only worked up to, I think it was like 385 for a double, which moved really well. And it actually felt better than when I was benching the other week. And I worked up to that, um, it was like 425 for eight, I believe. My pec actually felt really shitty that day, even though I was able to work through it. But um, the weight was moving fine, but I still didn't want to go any heavier without um, the metal catapult which you'll see me using later so um i was doing that i'm also trying to pause my benches to keep tension on my pec there's a tendency when i move the bar down too fast for it to bounce off my chest and i just want to make sure i'm exhibiting more control so from now until competition which we're about seven weeks out i'm probably going to pause all of my benches and or do spodal presses on some of the warm-ups i was doing spodal presses just to keep that constant tension on the pec and on my upper body but um it didn't feel bad i thought i still felt it a little in um in my lat in my pec but i thought it was gonna feel much worse so it actually almost feels like it's fully recovered hopefully another week or so and we'll be feeling back to normal but um felt good like i said worked up to the 385 for a double after that just went straight to 450 with the metal catapult um was keeping all the reps paused Ended up hitting eight. I probably could have hit like two more, but just didn't feel like it was necessary. Wasn't trying to go all the way to max reps. Didn't really need to go to failure. There was really no reason for it today. Just really wanted to get some work in and kind of get blood flowing to the area and walk away feeling good. And that's exactly what I did. Just kept volume low. Didn't do much accessory work because I had a bench day earlier in the week anyway, so didn't feel necessary. Kind of more just want to be able to recover and feel good on all the exercises. Um, as opposed to beating myself up too much today. So, got to the workout, felt good, like I said. Um, yeah, that's about it. Things are feeling good. 
Squats and deadlifts have been feeling really good. I'm hitting rep PRs on everything. I've even been hitting rep PRs on bench, but I'm probably going to have to take a step back before I start really crushing bench press again. But it'll work nicely with peeking into the meat anyway. So about seven weeks out, feeling good and everything. Just got to keep pushing.